no mood to play right now. So it's fine. It's fine. No, this will be so scary. Hi friends. I am so excited for today's video. Here is my guest, by the way. Her name is her name is Marie. She is a foster with the company Wags and Walks, which is who me and my fiance foster with. I am so excited for today's video. Today we are doing another 24 hour reading challenge. And I really think that I'll be able to get through it this time just because I feel like I already did it once. I know my boundaries. I know what rules I wanna put in place to make sure that I feel comfortable and can get through it in an okay mood. And I really have high hopes that we'll be able to do this because I just went to the bookstore yesterday and I bought a lot of books. <laughs> and I also am currently reading two books. And so I think we'll be able to get through a good amount of stuff and I'm just really excited to get through my TBR and read some books that I've been wanting to read for a really long time. And at this moment, my fiance, who I live with, is in Salt Lake City. You know, when he's gone, I get bored and I could ask my friends to hang out, but instead I'm just like, it's a rainy day. Why not read for 20 more hours? Um, yeah. Where's my coffee? That was weird. I thought that I still had coffee in the coffee that I got from Starbucks this morning, but then I just checked the trash and I apparently threw it away. Yeah, my mind's all over the place right now. I have put in place some rules for myself to make sure that this is going to be a good readathon and we are going to get through it and actually be able to do the full 24 hours. So these are my rules. One, I must be consuming some kind of book throughout the 24 hours, except for when I'm sleeping. So that means that could be a physical book, a Kindle book, or a audiobook. So any kind of those and I'm good, that counts. The second rule is that I will sleep. <laughs> so I will pause the timer and I will have a normal night's sleep and then I will resume the timer in the morning the third rule is is that I still I'm working a full-time job you know <laughs> I'm still doing that I am a full-time photographer in my normal day-to-day -day career and I do have a shoot tonight and I also have a shoot tomorrow morning so during that time I will also pause the timer and I will go on those shoots and then when I get back from the shoot I will resume the timer and we will keep reading okay so those are the big three rules that I'm going to be following for this readathon right now it is currently 1 36 p.m. I think we are going to start this reading challenge at 1 40 p.m. and then we'll just read all day apart from my photo shoot and apart from sleeping and then we will continue on tomorrow. I am currently reading two books right now. I am reading The Last Thing He Told Me via audiobook and I am reading Always and Forever Lara Jean which is the To All the Boys I Loved Before series and I'm almost done with both of those so I'm going to start with the audiobook and I'm going to finish that one first. I'm so excited to finish that one. So far it's been really good and then after that I'll go into reading for Always and Forever Lara Jean. I'm gonna start with those two and then we will just mood read from there on out. I'm excited to do this with you guys. This is gonna be so fun. Let's get started. Let's start reading. I'm like one minute late because I had to go get my headphones. Let's start. Let's start the timer first. <laughs> Yeah, I'm tired, it's raining outside, and I have really bad cramps right now, so I ordered McDonald's from Uber Eats. The book is going really well. Um, we're uncovering a bunch of stuff, which is really exciting. We have about two hours left, so yeah, this is gonna be good. I might be yelling because I have my, um, noise canceling headphones on. Let me just take these off real quick. Was I yelling? 30 minutes left of the audiobook and I'm gonna take the dogs out and I'm gonna go just like, I don't know, sit outside and just listen to it. It's been raining all day, but right now it is looking like maybe the sun's coming out. So we're gonna spend some time outside. Waiting for the night time to see what it brings. 
So I just filmed the whole thing and then realized my mic wasn't on. So I just finished reading The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave and it was really good. I was looking at other reviews from people on like Book Talk and Goodreads and it kind of like made me realize that, you know, it was really good for the first half but then the last half it was just like really underwhelming. It was just missing that like oomph part that would make you be like, wow, like this is an incredible book. But what happened at the end was just like so like kind of just like this one thing. I just don't want to like give it away so I don't want to tell you guys like what I feel about it but it's like this very specific like type of story that I just like wasn't thinking it was going to turn into and it ended up turning into that and I just like didn't really like the vibe of it but the very last chapter was really cute and it made me cry so I mean that made up for it. Overall the book was really good and it kept me like captivated the entire time but it's just like I wish the ending was a little bit different but right now I have about three minutes until I have to go to my shoot so I'm stopping the timer. I'm at four hours and 13 minutes of what how long I've been reading <laughs> which is not that long. 20 hours left. I think this is good at four hours in and I already finished a book so that feels great. When we get back from the shoot probably at 7 30 so in another like hour and a half or so we will continue reading this book which I had also started which is Always and Forever Lara Jean. So far it's going well and I feel better about being able to stop the timer to go do the stuff that I actually have to do for my full-time job. I will check in with you guys when I'm back from my photo shoot. I am in no mood to play right now. I literally have the worst cramps and I keep filming things for you guys and then forgetting to turn on my freaking microphone. I had my photo shoot from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. and then I went to the grocery store and I got some dinner for tonight along with some ice cream which I'm really excited for and then I am back home and I change into pajamas. Right now it is 8.50 and I'm all ready to lounge, you know? I'm probably gonna like read for a couple hours and then make myself some tea. And I have my book, Always and Forever, Lara Jean and it's the final book in the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series by Jenny Han. Okay, so now we're gonna start the timer so that I can keep track of reading and we can hit that 24 hour mark and here we go. Sometimes I feel my eyes there Maybe tonight, baby, baby Take a love and stay Yeah, I'm still even deep in my head Sometimes I feel my eyes there Maybe tonight, baby. I'm all ready for bed I made myself some tea. But yeah, I've been reading for the past little bit. I'm on chapter 32 now, so I have about, how many pages are there? I have like less than 100 pages left, but it's like 11. So I think I'm just gonna finish drinking my tea and go to bed and stop the timer. So it's been about two hours. I've been reading for six hours and 28 minutes now. Morning, you guys. I slept in. So yeah, I never really sleep in this late, so it feels so lazy and bad to wake up at literally 10 a.m. But I feel like if I slept in, then my body probably needed it. So I'm gonna make some coffee and I'm going to start reading. But I was thinking like while I'm making coffee and like getting my life together, I think I'm gonna start a new audiobook. I know I'm not done with the Forever and Always Lara Jean, but I am almost done with that. I kind of just wanna like listen to an audiobook while I get my coffee and do like my morning routine. So I'm going to read slash listen to One by One by Ruth Ware. I just heard that like One by One by Ruth Ware is like, if you really like The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley, then you should read One by One by Ruth Ware. And I loved The Hunting Party, so I think that it's gonna be something that I like. People all get snowed in at a luxurious ski chalet in the French Alp. That sounds fun to me. I'm gonna go get my headphones and then we're gonna start listening to that while I make coffee. It's just such a busy day. I'm gonna be a lot to make reading 24 hours and doing all of my actual work and winning paid for. <laughs> a woman in my house by myself because my fiance is gone. I'm just hoping that it's not scary. I'm so tired of playing games. You don't have to be so hard. Long time no talk, kind of. So this morning I was like listening to that book One by One by Ruth Ware. After that, I had to get ready for a photo shoot because I had a photo shoot this morning. So I just got ready and I just got back from that. I think I'm gonna be focusing a lot on the audiobooks just because that makes me feel less anxious when I'm doing these things. I get anxious when I'm like, when I don't do anything. So like I can sit down and read for like a couple hours, like that's fine, but like 
reading all day stresses me out. I'm just gonna listen to the audiobooks and feel less stressed out. I'm also not gonna finish reading Always in Forever Lara Jean. I'm going on a lake trip pretty soon and so I just like, I don't know. I'm gonna, and I'm reading like other Jenny Han stuff when I go on that lake trip. I'm gonna read The Summer I Turn Pretty. So instead I'm going to listen to One by One by Ruth Ware. I think that I have 10 hours left or something crazy. Okay, hi guys. Um, my camera died, but <laughs> pretty much I'm just gonna put on my headphones and start listening to one by one. And I don't think, I was kind of scared that it was gonna be too scary to listen to. I don't think it's gonna be like that big of a deal. So I listened to a lot of it this morning actually. It looks like as if there's about 90 chapters and I made it to chapter 45. So I'm halfway through the book right now. So this is crazy. It says I have like three and a half hours left of listening time. I don't know what happened, but my stopwatch like reset. So it, Okay, I think like last time I showed you guys where I was, I was like at six hours or something, six and a half hours maybe. And then I listened to One by One for a, a while. I have like three and a half hours left of the book and then I um, listened to it. Okay, so I listened to it for about like three and a half hours. What is the math? Um, okay, so I should be at like a 10 hour mark right now. Anyway, we're, yeah, I guess we're just starting over the time. So when it hits 14 hours on this, it will be in addition to the 10 hours that I have done before that you guys saw. So it's fine, it's fine, we're fine. Let's just do it again. Let's just do this again to the 14 hour mark. So we'll start this, I guess. Start listening. You don't have to be so hard. Just tell me your dreams, the things you like. What sends you off, what makes you doubt. I'm editing right now and I realize the clip where I talk about finishing one by one by Ruth Ware and then starting the turn of the key by Ruth Ware is gone. This is the moment of the readathon where I have finished one by one by Ruth Ware because I only had three and a half hours left. And then right after that, I decided to start another Ruth Ware book just because one by one was so good. I started reading the turn of the key by Ruth Ware and I listened to that while I am on the couch in this next clip. <laughs> Okay, so I am pausing my book and I'm going to my shoot. Okay, so six hours and 40 minutes. That means that I only need, wait, did I do 14 hours or 10 hours? I don't remember. Does that mean I have four hours left or does that mean that I have six hours left? Either or, we're under the 10 hour mark, so that's exciting. And I'm gonna go to my shoot, so I will be back and then we'll keep listening to um, The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. So far, it's a little creepy, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it tonight. Since I am like sleeping in this house by myself, it's a little scary but we'll see so I'll talk more when I get back hi I just got back from my photo shoot it was just an hour long it was a wedding an hour long wedding so I was just there for the ceremony and then I took photos of the family afterward now I'm back home it is 7 20 I am going to start listening to the audiobook again and making some dinner feed my dogs change into comfier clothes to clean up from dinner eat dinner and then I think I'm gonna do laundry tonight all of which can be done while I'm listening to an audiobook because audiobooks are incredible I love that you can do that so let's get started. So let's let's do it. This book is gonna scare me. Already on edge from this book because she's like by herself in a house and she keeps hearing things. Don't know if this is the best book to be reading while well, I am literally alone in a house. Okay, so we're gonna start reading The Turn of the Key. I'm on chapter 16. So let's see what happens. Maybe tonight, maybe You guys, this book is so scary. <laughs> I'm on chapter 19, so I only have two hours left of listening time, and I don't know if the end is gonna make it worse or make it better. One thing about me is that I am terrified. I'm like, why is my voice shaking while I'm telling you this? <laughs> I am terrified of ghosts. Didn't know this book was gonna have supernatural stuff in it or like allude to that kind of stuff. I'm debating on whether or not I should finish it or just switch to another book, but I only have two hours left, so I like, I really wanna know what happens. Okay, I'm gonna stop reading this book now because I'm 
terrified. And instead I'm gonna go to my bookshelf and find a book that is not scary. Okay, so I have some books that I think that I might read that stay along the same vibe as what I was looking for. So I have One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus, Dial A for Aunties, Tell Me Lies. I think this is a romance, but I don't know for sure, but I know that there's like a show about it on Hulu because it has that forever sticker on the book. So it's just forever gonna tell me that there's a show on Hulu, apparently. I just wanna know what happens in the turn of the key, but I also am terrified. I think I'm gonna do Tell Me Lies. I think I'm gonna start reading this one. Okay, let's start. <laughs> already so invested in this book and I'm only on page four. So it's currently 10.28, which means that I have been reading today for almost 10 hours. I just stopped at nine hours and 46 minutes. So right now I'm reading Tell Me Lies. I honestly haven't made it like that far. I'm on page 89. I'm on chapter 12. Um, it's really interesting so far. I'm not gonna read any more tonight because I am shooting a wedding tomorrow. So I'm gonna stop everything and wake up early tomorrow and then try to finish this tomorrow. About four hours left of my reading challenge. I didn't know, but I should have known that 24 hour reading challenge where you take breaks to sleep, it's gonna take a long time. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I, well, good morning. I woke up way later than I thought I was going to. So this puts a dent in my plans when it comes to my reading for 24 hours because I have to leave at, I have to leave at noon. I have four hours left of reading, but I only have like two hours left of my, of when I can be home. Plus I have to get ready for this wedding. I hate to say it because I'm just so freaking close, but I think I'm just gonna end my reading, my 24 reading challenge right here. So it's still like a 20 hour reading challenge. So I feel like I'm, I'm literally like so close, but this is like the third day of me doing this and I just, I'm kind of over it. I'm just, I'm just done. So I'm just gonna end it here. 20 hours I think was great. Um, I'm proud of myself for getting there. I'm busy. I just, I can't. Hey guys, I didn't want the last thing you guys saw of me to be like what I look like when I first wake up in the morning. This is me as I'm editing the reading 20 24 hours challenge. I'm just gonna go over the books really quickly and then give you guys a good outro. The first book that I was reading when I was starting this challenge was Always and Forever Lara Jean. And I did read a good amount of that book and that was great because that whole series I just really wanted to get through. That book was great, that whole series was great. I probably will talk about it more in my lake trip video that I'm gonna be posting next week. But I do feel like the book was a little bit too young for me and I feel like I wasn't really as excited to pick it up because I feel like I couldn't really connect to Lara Jean as much as I wanted to. And when you don't really connect to the main character and you can't really see yourself in their shoes, it's really hard to read a book, at least for me. After doing the Always in Front for Lara Jean, I started, or I continued reading and finished reading The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. And that book was really great. It didn't have the, the oomph factor that I was trying to tell you. It was just like a really great book and it was so exciting to, to listen to and to read. But then when it got to the end, it was just very anticlimactic and I felt like it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for it to be. The last chapter did make up for it a lot though. I remember it was just super cute and I was like, wow, like it made me cry. So if a book makes me cry, it obviously has some kind of attachment to it. After I finished reading The Last Thing You Told Me by Laura Dave, I started um, reading another Audible book which was One by One by Ruth Ware. I saw this um, thing in Barnes & Noble where it was like, if you like this book, then you might want to read this book. And it said, if you like Hunting Party by Lucy Foley, you might want to read One by One by Ruth Ware. And I've never heard of Ruth Ware before, but I started reading slash listening to One by One by Ruth Ware, and it was so good, and I absolutely loved it. It had two perspectives in it, Liz and Aaron. And at first I was really confused listening to it on Audible because I was like, is Aaron a guy or is Aaron a girl? I have no idea. But then I understood Aaron is a girl. So it's between two girls, Liz and Aaron. Oh, and it's, so One by One is narrated by Imogen Church, which Imogen Church does a lot of Lucy Foley's books as well. And I absolutely love the way that she narrates. It's just like her voice is so soothing and I just absolutely love it. Got through the entire thing. I also like didn't really talk about it that much. You guys saw me reading it, but then I ended up finishing it and I just like, immediately went on to the next book. But I really did like One by One. The entire thing was very interesting. It very much had hunting party vibes. It's kind of like a locked door mystery because everybody is cut off from the outside world. There wasn't like a huge plot twist. Like I kind of like knew what was going to be happening as I was reading it. I was like, 
it has to be this person. And then it ended up being that person, so it wasn't like a huge plot twist, but nonetheless, I still really enjoyed them finding out in the book what happened and who it was and why all that happened. After reading One by One by Ruth Ware, I started another Ruth Ware book because I was on a Ruth Ware kick. I absolutely loved her writing. I loved like listening to it at Audible. So I started reading The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware and this book kind of had Haunting of Hill House vibes where it's this woman from London going to a house in Scotland, very like big villa, very far away from everything else to take care of three children and the parents leave almost immediately when she gets there. So it really is, it has like a locked door mystery kind of feel. I don't know if it would completely be classified as that because it's not as if she's like completely locked away from the rest of the world. She still has her phone, but it's, um, I still like feel like I had that kind of vibe. So the entire time I was reading it and I was like home alone, I was so terrified. <laughs> this book had like a lot of supernatural aspects to it and I didn't know that it was considered a thriller. And so I was just taken aback by how scary it was. It definitely was a hard listen when I'm home alone. I really wanted to know like what happened at the end and now that I finished it, whoa, sorry. Now that I finished it, I really wish that I did continue it on to the end because the ending just made it like so much less scary than like it should have been. The ending was just like, like a little confusing in a way that I had to like look up what was so significant about it, I guess. I was like, why is this such a big deal? You wait the entire book to figure out what happened and then you get to the end and then you're like, that was so quick of me finding out what happened. It, like it barely went into explanation about everything that was going on. I came up with this entire thing in my head where I'm like, this is the plot twist. I know this is the plot twist this is gonna be crazy I'm so excited for it to like be this and then it was just like the simplest thing that it could have been and I was like oh like mine would have been better <laughs> it was still two hours left from finishing this when I decided to switch to the next book which is tell me lies by oh I forgot what their name is actually um, but tell me lies is a romance I read about like 89 pages so I have chapter 12 and it's really interesting, it's fun to read because it takes place in college, it's like these college friends, it's like this old romance. I haven't finished reading Tell Me Lies yet, but I am getting close. We read two full books, we got almost to the end of two more books, and then we started one book. So that's about five books, but only two were fully finished, and the others I had like maybe 100 pages left in both of them, so I'm sorry if that was annoying to you guys, but... Um, I'm a mood reader, so if I don't want to finish reading it, then I just don't, you know? But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I think that this was such uh, an accomplishment for me to do 20 hours, even though I didn't do the full 24 hours. Amazing for me, I feel great about it. I had a great time, and this experience was so much more fun than the last one because I feel like I made those rules for myself, so I had those boundaries, and it was just a great time. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey, and thank you guys so much for watching my 24 hour reading challenge, or my 20, 20 hour reading challenge. <laughs> if you guys want to see me more on a daily basis, you can follow me on my Instagram, you can follow me on my book talk, and you can subscribe to me here because I post new videos every Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!